Hallo Morgen, ich bin Tessar. Ich spreche Deutsch nur ein bisschen, weil ich äh, sechs Monate in Alfdorf äh, gelebt habe. So, the rest of the video tutorial, I will speak in English, because, well, I can speak it fluently, and no, in German, is, uh, I cannot speak fluently. So, um, the first question is why? Why I decided three years ago, why I decided to uh, change the Robotech to a Robotech controller? The, there are several reasons. The first reason is the technical support. Robotech is giving me uh, really good technical support. Second reason is reliability. It's an industrial board that is quite well. This uh, it works in an industrial environment good. Uh, next reason is well, um, there is no with this uh, board. There is no that annoying noise that appears when the motor is working. Uh, it is this uh, with fifth jet board. This noise is due to the this music indeed is due to the harmonics of the PWM and this robotech is working out of the uh, human range for hearing so uh, there is no that noise and um, other reason also is well uh, this board has the capability to upload inside software so the control of the motor is inside the board and I can indeed establish a watchdog for monitoring the signals and uh, tell to the computer if there is some cut in the communication so due to all that reasons, I decided to change to Robotech. This is the Robotech SDC2130S motor controller. This is the board that we are currently using in the Serie Auto Steer uh, kit. And um, the advantage of this board is that uh, it works uh, uh, in a robust way and also there is no sound no no noise when it's operating due that it's operating uh, out of the human uh, um, range for hearing so um, we are using you have two ports this usb port that is recommended only for configuration topics and there's other port here that there is a port that is the rs232 that you have to put in these pins. Uh, there is a pin that I will show you later. And also here is the input for the encoder, for the encoder reading. And for working, there is two inputs. That is the uh, source, source of power input. And there is uh, outputs for uh, controlling. In this case, it's a single board, only for one motor that you have. There, there is a um, cable configuration for that. But you can also, with the model that is now S, you can also control two motors. This is the cable setup for uh, communicating and for the encoder. Uh, we are using for communicating a converter from a USB to RS232. That is an FTDI chip. FTDI that is located uh, there. Okay, and here is the cables for uh, input the, the power and for output the uh, motor signals. Okay, that's the data sheet for uh, wiring the motor in this case. If there is a single board, like in this case, you have to connect uh, M1 plus M1 minus in this way, just in this way. So for the encoder, you have the encoder channel 1A in the pin number 4, encoder channel 1B, pin number 8, ground, whatever of two pins, 5 for uh, 13, and the 5 volts pin that is in the 14 pin. Okay, and an, another important issue is that you should connect. Um, I'm not using this for uh, for having the electronic running. I'm using the general the general source of power, but it's quite important. Like for example, when you are moving the motor, that there is a regeneration of energy, 
um, if you have the uh, okay the, the the push button connected um, and you disconnect uh, always uh, energy should have a, a way for going to the battery for regeneration regenerating the energy and going to the battery so I always put that diode in the in this way it is important it's a an issue that the that the uh, that a safety uh, safety issue for avoiding to uh, break the the board okay so this is a typical setup that we have for testing one unit and for also for configuring one unit we have here the box the the box uh, the control box that have inside the board that I have seen before um, and well we have this with the uh, car with a power source here that is um, giving power to the board so it is important that the board has power because if there is no power there is no communication so if we have power the first thing that we should do is to download the Robo Run Plus software this software Robo Run Plus and with the Robo Run Plus also, you have to download the two files that I uh, uh, put in on the on the website on the on the link. That one is the profile, and the other one is on the script for uh, making the watchdog watch dog of the of the bird. First of all, you have to load the profile. Well, first of all, if you I'm going to start from zero. Uh, I I have I start the the software. And the software I start to scan is, uh, the the board. Found the board, yes. Load profile from the board, from the controller. And now uh, I have to see here that the, the kind of board that I'm working with. Okay, so if I'm, I'm working with this board, I have to load the profile from the disk. Uh, the profile is the 2130S. Okay. Open and then save to the controller okay so also I have to load the script for watchdog that is the Robotech Sentry but I have programmed uh, me I have programmed the two the two the profile and the and this Sentry okay and then send to the device then I'm going to the console and in the console I click stop and start again to arm the controller and then I put this command if I put the command this signal uh, okay this signal P0 and admiration P1000 for some, or 10,000 for example if I, if I send this command to the board uh, there is no movement should be no movement on the on the motor axle and if I put the other command here there is a movement to the position one uh, ten thousand so if the motor is stopped in these two positions everything is working correctly zero and ten thousand zero ten thousand so that's all. It's simple. It has a little of work for connecting everything, and it's working perfectly. Here you can monitor in whatever variable you you put here. For example, for monitoring the counter, the encoder, uh, or the current, whatever. Here, for example, motor amps, and I can put to what one hundred thousand, and I run again everything recording and I send the command so you can see here okay the signals stop well in Serea you have to change uh, several things one is the port that is being um, used for uh, for entering the for connecting to the board that is the port are BTQ and also activate the RBTQ mode here with a one and you have to change also the pass per degree variable because Robotech uh, reads four times the encoder number so 
if usually is uh, for example with 50 it is 300 the number of pass per degree uh, now with Robotech is uh, one, uh, 1200 more or less so it's different the pass per degree is should be this number.